This video is going to show you how to create tube or electrical routes in their simplest form in SOLIDWORKS. For this example, I've got components already positioned in our assembly, but these could be anything. Assemblies, giant pieces of equipment, whatever. The objective is to add fittings to this assembly and let SOLIDWORKS automatically create tubes between them. The first thing you'll need are the fittings. Make your own or download something. This came from 3D Content Central. The most important aspect of getting a route to work is having the proper route and connection points set up. It's also strongly encouraged to use mate references. The mate reference will allow for dragging and dropping the fitting or connector directly into your assembly without having to manually add mates. Getting back to the route and connection points, route points control where a fitting is positioned on the route sketch. Connection points control where the route originates or extrudes from the fitting. These are known as R points and C points collectively, and every route component has them in some combination. R barbed fittings will have a single C point and nothing more. The C point defines the route type that can connect to it, the diameter, and the stub length. We'll use the stock tube part that is included with SOLIDWORKS routing. Let's drop some barbed fittings into our assembly. Notice my fitting was added to my design library. I'll drag in a copy and let the mate references snap the first component into position. The route subassembly gets created automatically. This is where it's possible to change some route options that will pertain to your route type. In my case, I want to use flexible hoses. Once OK is clicked, notice the stub. These are important, and I'll get back to them in a minute. Next, I'll drop in another fitting. All that remains is to use Auto Route. Auto Route uses the stubs. Open Auto Route, select the ends of the stubs, and click OK. Your route is done. One more quick run through, and this time we'll leave flexible hoses unchecked. Drop in the fittings. Auto route, and because we now have straight segments with elbows, we can right click to see our different options. Accept it when you like what you see. We now have tube routes with connectors and can go about creating our drawings and generating parts lists. This has been Dave Murray from CAD Dimensions. Thanks for watching and happy modeling!